With us uh, now on set, former SEC chairman and CNBC contributor uh, Jay Clayton. He's joining us to talk about the government's latest spate of regulatory actions, including cases against Microsoft and Act, uh, over the bid to buy Activision and against Amazon for allegedly uh, luring customers into subscribing uh, to Prime. But he's a renaissance man, and uh, I'm sure you've thought about the developments over the weekend. We want to start uh, with that. And, and what, what do you think this means for, for Putin, for, for the war in Ukraine, everything that, that uh, our relationship with Russia, oil markets? Yeah, look, I, I, too big a, a, an issue for I think you've thought about it, haven't I, and you? And I you, think we've all thought about you, it, right? You know people in high places. Right, and, we all, and we've all been like, it's kind of remarkable that the markets uh, are, are so stable. Yeah. Um, including the commodity markets. What's, uh, what's interesting to me is 50,000 troops, um, you know, some estimate about how much that costs per week. What is it, you know, $5 million, $50 million, depending on how much you're paying them? Like, where is that, where is that cash coming from? And it kind of goes back to, um, you know, the beginning of the war and sanctions. What, what, what do we know? The, the world has found a way to get the resources that Russia is producing and to pay for them. Because where else, where else would this money be coming from? And I think that's kind of a, a takeaway from this, is that you're looking at the commodity markets and, the, and people are saying, hey, they can, they can figure this out, um, which is, you know, we should take something away from that that we really have not disentangled from what I would say is the very hot, very unfortunate, you know, very amoral places in the world when it comes to commodities. Does that mean that um, it's not effectively feasible to, to have sanctions that actually bite, or does it mean it wasn't executed the correct way? I, I, I think it's, it's more, the, more the former than the latter. You, know, you have to have partnerships around the world for sanctions to be effective in global markets. And this is a lesson that we're learning here. Yeah. And, and it, is a, it is a key takeaway for the future. So, I mean, obviously the, the oil is... It's flowing. Flowing from Russia too. And it, it, we should have known that from $69 a barrel with the Saudis doing all they can to try to and, soak up some of the... Yeah, oil. including as we heard earlier today, you know, reports that they're worried about uh, potential recession, maybe not in the United States, but in the rest of the world. And that they don't want oil to drop further. We just had, uh, I don't know if you saw the Jared Bernstein interview, he talked about the three basic tenets of, of what he calls Bidenomics, and I think the third one was competition uh, and enhancing competition. I think he was talking about putting teeth in all the regulatory agencies to, to, in terms of antitrust, which you've talked about again and again, and that brings us to the Microsoft Activision deal and every other deal that's not going to get done under, yeah, yeah. With, with, in the Biden administration. Let's take this to a, on the regulatory side. Perhaps not going to get yeah, that, But let's take this to a, you know, a very high level on the regulatory side. What you're hearing from the leaders of the regulatory organizations is if we're not losing cases, if we're not being pushed back on by the courts, we're not doing enough. That, think about that for a second. That is a fundamental shift in how we as Americans view the role of the government. I don't want to be in a place where I know the government is going to bring cases they think they're going to lose. Imagine you're the person who is the subject of that case. Just now, we're talking about they, corporations. Yeah, to but see if they can. And if, if they're not stopped, they're going to, yeah. Right, but this is an ethos now, which is yeah. you know, unless we're losing, we're not bringing enough cases. You know, that may be fine for private litigants against each other and, and think about it. But when you have the power of the state and you're, you, you're supposed to only bring cases and only make rules that you think are going to pass judicial muster. And, and we're seeing a shift there, and I think we, we should think about whether that's appropriate or not. We can go into the details of, of each one of these cases or each one of these regulations, but at a 30,000-foot level, I think that's problematic.